Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you what is in my makeup bag. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have my makeup bag right here. So this is my makeup bag and this makeup bag, I actually am holding it upside down. <laughs> um, but this makeup bag is by a company called Truffle and this specific bag is called Clarity Jet Set or Jet Set Clarity Jumbo, something like that. I will link it down below nonetheless. So anyway, this is my makeup bag and I will say that this was not very cheap. This is $125, but the reason I got this is that this bag really worked for what I wanted out of a makeup bag. Now, first and foremost, I like the fact um, that it is pretty, like it's a beautiful design, which to me matters because I want it to feel nice and aesthetic when I'm doing my makeup every morning. This color is called Dove Gray and it's just beautiful and it's got these beautiful um, gold zippers and it's clear so you can see your makeup in there so i like the aesthetic of it but more importantly what i like is i like the design of it because this bag has two sides so one side is a little bit bigger than the other you can see there's two zippers um, and the bigger side i use for my face makeup and the smaller side i use for my eye and lip makeup and so for me what i like is that this has some structure to it it has a ton of room in here and I have you know my face makeup on one side I flip it over I have my eye makeup on the other so I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup bug 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 hello my makeup bag down and we're gonna start opening it up and going through all of the products so first and foremost I reach for my foundation and my current obsession for my foundation is Giorgio Armani luminous silk I love, love, love this foundation. Even though I have oily skin, I just find that this has a really beautiful, natural, thin, long lasting. Do I need to say any more? Because I mean, that pretty much covers it. Like, it is such a good foundation. The only downside, and again, it's kind of the same downside as the makeup bag, it is not cheap. I believe it's like $65 something like that so it's expensive and actually speaking of that i'm pretty much out of this <laughs> bottle so i have to get a new one i don't have to but i'm going to <laughs> because i love it um but you don't need a ton of product and it does last for a while and i just think because the finish of your skin is so beautiful like it just it's worth it for me so that's my foundation of choice i love it and again i do have oily skin and i actually have a more dewy look today than i normally would it's not necessarily the foundation I went with a few more dewy products just because it's a hot day. I just, you know, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dewy anyway. I might as well just embrace it. The second thing I usually put on my face is my acne concealer. And this is not something I want to reach for, but I tend to because I do have acne um, every once in a while. And thankfully I have a lot less acne now, so I don't need to reach for this as much, but I still unfortunately reach for this every single day. The concealer of my choice is Tarte Shape Tape and my color is 22N. I don't know why I just said the color for that. I will link the colors down below. So if you're looking for any kind of specific description of anything I'm mentioning or the links, that will be in the description below. But anyway, this is my concealer of choice for acne. I have tried a bunch of different ones. I feel like this is definitely one of the best, if not the best, because it just has a really thin consistency. It's not cakey. It doesn't feel like you're adding anything like just any additional texture on top of something that may already have a little bit of dryness or texture if it's like pimple that's you know that's been healing and all that um and it lasts for a long time it has a really super high coverage it's buildable like it is just amazing for my under eyes i use a number seven lift and illuminate serum concealer this is my concealer for underneath my eyes and also around my nose if i have a little bit of redness i mean the name does say it all lift and illuminate this concealer is affordable and it works amazing i highly recommend checking this out I find that it honestly resembles a high-end concealer but without the price tag, so it's amazing. I love it. I use it every day. I'm gonna say amazing a lot in this video. <laughs> I already know that. The next sequence depends on like what I'm using that day, but I'm just gonna kind of throw a few things out there. Usually I apply some kind of a gel or liquid blush because I think that 
it looks a little bit more natural it just blends really well it kind of looks like you're blushing from within if you get the right color and the right formula if you apply it in the right places so all of that but it really has the potential to look very very natural not that i'm necessarily going for a natural look but i just find that it kind of has a nicer appeal to it so so my current blush of choice at the moment is glossier cloud paint i have three shades and i just kind of choose whichever shade i'm feeling that day they are so easy to work with they blend really well they last for a long time and they look very natural so i just really love these and they've been my go-to all summer long i will link the colors i have down below but today i am wearing puff and i just dropped one <laughs> it's okay <laughs> all right so next i would be applying either powder and then powder bronzer or cream bronzer and then powder so that's kind of like the confusing part here but i'm just going to reach for the bronzer i'm wearing today which is a cream bronzer so powder would go after that and the cream bronzer i've been really loving is by fenty beauty and it is cream bronzer i guess that's the name of it <laughs> here it is um i love this bronzer because it just is so easy to work with i apply this with a beauty blender and it looks so natural like it is the easiest bronzer to work with in the history of bronzers i've tried like it is so good my only complaint with this is that it can look a little bit too dewy for my liking if this was like half the dewy quotient <laughs> i would definitely use it a lot more and let me just open it up and show you what that looks like inside my color is number zero two butter biscuit <laughs> yeah it's just a really really good bronzer but i just i just wish it would be a little bit less like dewy looking like but still creamy if that makes any sense because i just like the creamy formula of it so another bronzer i've been loving and you will see just how much i've been loving it recently is nars um, powder bronzer and the color is laguna i love this bronzer i've had it for a while but i just recently rediscovered my love for it and i'm obsessed with this bronzer you can tell by how little i have left i really need to get myself another one of these but i just absolutely love 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 this bronzer when you turn your skin has a little bit of a sheen has a little bit of glow has a little bit of like that tanness it's just beautiful so i really really like this <laughs> color i mean there's barely any bronzer left in here but i really really um love it i just love the color i love the finish that it gives my skin it's a really good bronzer and i actually think this is the old packaging i believe nowadays it comes in a different packaging so you can tell that i've had it for a while and loved it for a while next i am applying powder on my face usually and the powder i've been obsessed with is by charlotte tilbury it's the airbrush flawless finish powder i have two shades but it is the same exact powder i have shade number one which i used a lot obviously and then i also have shade number two which i've been reaching for a little bit more recently because i've had a little bit more of a tan since it's summertime and my skin is a little bit darker now so this is the color i've been reaching for a lot more i just really like this powder because it gives my skin a nice blurring effect so when i apply it it does mattify the skin but not too much like it doesn't make the skin look dehydrated or like overly powdered but it does give my skin like a nice slight blurring finish which i love like i really <laughs> I could i could use some blurring <laughs> so i really like that powder and i've been reaching for it like every single day i barely use any other powder nowadays and then this is the last step of my makeup routine but i'm just going to mention it now because i have this in my face section and that is the um, charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i have mentioned the setting spray a bunch and i really really like it it locks your makeup in place and it has a very nice slightly satiny finish so especially on days when you feel like your skin is just a little bit too matte or a little bit too dehydrated looking applying something like this may actually be a really good idea because this will just soften and make your skin look a little bit more satiny you know it will kind of take some of that powdering powder powdering this out <laughs> oh boy okay now on that note we are moving to side number two and this is the eyes and lips side 
It's funny, before making this video, I decided to kind of edit the makeup bag just to get rid of some things that stuck around there that I don't use. So I didn't want to mention it since I'm not using those things. And they were about like five mascaras that I had to put aside because I just don't reach for them. I'm on a hunt for a very good mascara. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Now, one thing that is missing from my makeup routine right now is eyeshadow primer. I really, really need to get myself some because my eyelids tend to get very oily and creasy and I know it's gross and it looks kind of gross. Like, I don't know why it looks gross. There's really nothing gross to it, but there's just something about having eyeshadow in the creases that's just like not, does, it's, does not it's not a cute look, you know? Um, so that would be the next step. But... After that, what I actually apply because I actually have it on hand is eyeshadows. <laughs> and I do switch up my eyeshadows kind of depending on, I don't know, depending on the mood or the look I'm going for. But recently I've been reaching for this eyeshadow palette by MAC. This is uh, MAC Art Library Nude Model. So the reason I like this eyeshadow palette is that you can create a few different looks that are very, very easy to just apply and you kind of are good to go. So that is the palette I've been absolutely loving and I'm going to close it up and move on. <laughs> All right, so the next makeup item I would be applying on my eyes is an eyeshadow, not an eyeshadow, I already did that, is an eyeliner and my current look of choice is applying a little bit of a brown eyeliner and then smudging it. I just have been obsessed with that look. That's what I've been wearing day in, day out. And my favorite brown eyeliner at the moment is also by MAC. And it's a MAC Eye Coal in the color Teddy. I feel like back in the day when I used to watch YouTube and all the beauty guru girls would be using um, a MAC Teddy liner and I always thought, you know, I really wish I could have it, but I just didn't have the money. I was in college. I did not have the money to spend on an expensive eyeliner. So I feel very, very good having it now um, in my possession. So I feel like a complete circle. <laughs> I love this eyeliner because it has a just the right color brown in it like it's not too warm it's not too cool it's not too dark it's not too light it's also shimmery so if you have a shimmery eyeshadow applying a slightly shimmery eyeliner just works really really well and it's also really easy to work with it's it's kind of like a thin formula but it's soft and blendable so it's just it's a really 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 good liner so for my mascara i've been absolutely loving wearing ilia mascara I recently reviewed Ilia brand um, and I reviewed a bunch of their products and mascara was definitely one of my favorite items from that video. It just is such a good mascara and on top of that it also has nourishing ingredients for your lashes, very hydrating ingredients. So not only is it a really really good formula, it does not fall out, it doesn't make lashes too clumpy, it does give lashes definition, it looks pretty natural. It also has really good ingredients. So I find that this is such a good mascara. This is the mini because I did not know if I was gonna like it. So I just have the mini and once I run out, I will repurchase um, a larger, like a full size tube of it. Um, my lashes aren't really that great. Um, so I can't really say that I'm showing off the mascara in its best lighting, but the mascara is really, really good. So if you were gonna try something from Ilia, I would say try the mascara. Um, and I've been reaching for this little tiny thing all the time. It doesn't seem like there's that much product in here, but it's it's been lasting, so that's great. Um, okay, so after that, I would do my brows and I have three brow products here, but I usually just reach for two and sometimes for one. All three products are by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have, um, the pencils in the color taupe and the powder I have in the color blonde, but I also have the powder in the color taupe. <laughs> so it kind of just depends on what I'm doing because the thing is my brows and I'm, I think I'm eating my hair. Yes, I am, sorry. My face is a little bit sticky. Ooh, my face is very shiny today, I'm sorry. So the thing about my brows is that they are kind of lighter and sparser and they're naturally, I think, a softer brow look to them you know what i mean so for me i have to create brows that are defined but also soft and i actually think that most people don't get brows right including myself like brows are very hard to get right now most of the time i start with the thicker pencil and it's called brow definer 
um, and I love 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 this because it just gives you a softer overall wash of color sometimes I also need to define little portions of my brows which is when I reach for the brow whiz which is the thinner brow pencil and then sometimes if I need to have a, a softer even softer wash of color I reach for the brow powder duo which looks like this this is actually in blonde because when I reach for this I really need something that's very very soft and light like a little teeny tiny hint of color and so blonde works better for me so yeah with my brows you can probably tell like I gotta be prepared for anything <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna need a big pencil, a small pencil, a brow powder, or a setting gel. Like, I don't know, I gotta be prepared. <laughs> now, as far as my lip products, those change day to day because I just don't feel like wearing the same thing every single day. I like to kind of change things up a little bit when it comes to my lips, but I do have a few favorites that I reach for more so than other products, and I have those in my makeup bag. Um, so I like to do a lip liner usually even though I go over that lip liner with another lip product I just like to kind of help to create a slightly overlined lip look for myself and the two lip liners I've been really loving recently is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is a super popular lip liner. I feel like it works well on so many different people and it's just a really really good formula and good color and I love it and then another one I've been really loving recently is by Urban Decay it's 24 7 glide on lip pencil and the color is insanity this is a really really pretty um, nude color and this formula here is very soft like it melts on your lips um, Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit harder I think I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury formula a little bit more but I really really like the color of the Urban Decay one so I just reach for them both and I really like them now as far as what I put on top of my lips I like to put on something glossy because my lips are small and wrinkly so the two glosses I've been reaching for a lot recently and just actually in general the first one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills I have a few colors of this gloss but my favorite color is amber and I don't think that color is available anymore but there's other colors out there that are really really pretty um, of this gloss and I just really really like it and I'm wearing it on my lips today as it so happens I'm wearing Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm wearing um, this one on top. I honestly didn't have to wear pillow talk because I think this covered the pillow talk color but sometimes I just like to layer it for whatever reason in my head I just don't like to do it like that um, but another lip gloss I love and I think it's such a good lip gloss and this one is like a more typical lip gloss because it's kind of sheer and it's it's more glossy than lip color-y um, is Fenty Beauty. This is one of the best lip glosses ever. I highly, highly recommend checking this out. It is so wearable. It has a very, very pretty finish. It lasts well, it fades well. That's a huge thing, it fades well. So it doesn't like do anything funky on the lips as it fades. And this is like the kind of lip gloss I wear when my lips are dry and gross and I just need something that will sit well on top of them and will make them look good. And that's been my kind of makeup bag review look. It's none of those. Um, but on that note, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!